Let's take a look at some international news. Now, the race to replace Boris Johnson as the British Prime Minister has closed. The Tory members have voted to choose between former Chancellor Rishi Sunak and Foreign Secretary uh, Liz Truce. Now, the winner will be announced on Monday, the day when British Parliament returns from recess. Now, Boris Johnson is expected to officially leave the office the following day, which is Tuesday, the 6th of September, when he tenders his resignation to the Queen. Now, remember, this is happening at a time when the UK is in the grips of its worst cost of living crisis in generations, with inflation soaring to double digits. Now, energy prices are skyrocketing on the back of Russia's war in Ukraine. Shrinjoy joins us live on the broadcast for more on this. Uh, Shrinjoy, with respect to, you know, the numbers, if you can take us through, you know, if who's being favoured in terms of uh, the numbers in the Tory. Well, first of all, there are about 300,000 uh, Tory members who will or have voted uh, in this election. And according to the opinion polls, it is uh, very clear that Liz Trust, the foreign secretary, has a considerable lead over Rishi Sunak. It's clear that Rishi Sunak has about 40% of the vote or less, and Liz Trust has about 60%. So unless the opinion polls, all the opinion polls are completely wrong, then very clearly the next prime minister of Britain will be Liz Truss. Now, the reason why this is so, there are several reasons, of course. One is that Rishi Sunak is often seen by all those people who are still loyal to Boris Johnson as the man who is responsible for Boris Johnson's downfall by leaving the union, uh, the, the British cabinet. That's the first thing. Secondly, Liz Truss also has spoken very tellingly about a cut in taxes. Now, uh, Rishi Sunak has said that a cut in taxes would be would be a calamitous because it would hurt the economy at this point of time when it's not doing that well. So all these things are there. But as you rightly said, one of the biggest issues is really the price of energy. The heating cost winter is coming, is going, going to go up. And all of that is going to hurt virtually everybody in Britain. So that is an issue whoever becomes prime minister will have to deal with. Besides, of course, we'll have to see what happens on the 5th. But it would be surprising if all the opinion polls are wrong. As of now, every almost every opinion poll has said that, yes, Liz Trust is head. Though it has to be said that towards the end of the campaign, Rishi Sunak actually made some ground. All right. So uh, Liz Truss likely to be the next prime minister of uh, UK. Shrinjar, thank you so much for getting us all those details.